KC3000. KC3000, my man. Where do you think we go when we pass away? Where do you think we go when we pass away? Yeah. All right, so first, I think that when you die, like, nothing happens. Then, you wake up judgment day, bro. Judgment day, everybody's online, everybody's going to be with the higher power. And then it's going to determine where you going, my boy. And that's Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, indeed. So in your lives, I hear you talk about Jesus a few different times. What do you think Jesus re recommends for us to make it in heaven? Like, what does he require for us to make it to heaven? Everything that he that he's already written down. All the Ten Commandments. He already put the rules out flat for you in the Bible. You already know what we got to do. Just do it. Yeah. And I'm not going to, I ain't going to lie. We're not perfect, bro. We're not perfect. You feel me? All right, so shout out to the guy. I don't, I don't know his name, but who interviewed him and asked him about that because I have heard that he references God a lot. He's yeah. prayed on his live and all this kind of stuff. What do you think about his answer? Did, was, did he go deeper than that, or did, that's all I saw? Okay, the the, the young man that was interviewing talked more about mm -hmm. it, but gotcha. that's all I saw from Kassan. Not. Um, it's two ways I can look at it. Scripture says some have a form of godliness. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I can look at it like I remember being just real immature in my faith. Just growing up in the South, we all knew about God. We all knew about Jesus. So if you would have asked me why I was in sin, did I believe in God, believe in Jesus? I'd been like, yeah. Like, I remember being in a trap and somebody said something crazy about God. We're like, oh, oh, bro, you don't play with God as we proceeded to sell drugs. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. it's it's just like you feel like you got a relationship with him and you know him based off of what you heard about him from your parents and stuff. You haven't really mm -hmm. dove in depth and really went into the Word and see what it meant to have a relationship with God. So in his mind, he believes he's real. And he's gonna, he knows right from wrong, and that's enough for him to have a real relationship. But I don't think he really just diving into scriptures, obviously, and studying and being disciple to know what it really means to walk with God. Well, the, the red flag for me, because the fact that he acknowledged Jesus was a first surprise. Like, because based on the clips that I've seen that he's done with women and things like yeah. that, it's like you can't possibly. Oh, okay, so you <laughs> you you know a lot, all yeah. right? But the yeah. problem with his answer is he said essentially. I mean, he had the story kind of right, right? You you die, you face judgment before God. But he referenced the Ten Commandments. And what that kind of shows me is that Word a based. lot of, yeah, a lot of these kids may not understand exactly what this really is about. His answer um, leads me to believe that he thinks it is a works-based mm -hmm. solution to get to heaven, which is the same thing Muslims believe, which mm -hmm. is the same thing a lot of other people believe. Mm -hmm. The problem is, you are not capable mm -hmm. of being perfect enough yeah. to earn your own salvation. Yeah. That is the entire point of the Bible, yeah. right? The, the, when the law was given, it was given to show you that you will, will never meet God's standard. It's, it's, you're not capable of it, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. And what I'm afraid of is people who believe that, they end up feeling like, well, it's impossible, so I'm just going to do whatever I feel like doing. But the answer is, is that Jesus did it for you you accept him, you take his sacrifice on as yourself, and when he looks at you, he sees his son. Mm -hmm. That's how you justification. That's how mm -hmm. you get to heaven. It's not based on what you did or didn't do, yeah. but but the evidence that that actually happened should be a changed life. Yeah. So that's where I'm missing a lot of these kids. It's like, okay, you know a lot. You know about Jesus. Yeah. You you were taught a lot of these kids again were in Sunday school, but you missed the essence of the scripture. Yeah. This, this is a story being laid out, and it's always been about Jesus since Genesis 1, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. The whole story is this this whole thing is an opportunity to give God glory. Mm -hmm. we're, we're here to prove that God is just, righteous, merciful. Um, he's worthy of praise, that he can be both merciful and just at the same time. Those things sound impossible. How can you hold people accountable for what they did and be gracious? Yeah. Mm -hmm. God can, yeah, right. and He's showing us how. Yeah, well, his His authority was questioned. Yeah, this is the proof that He can be all of those things all at once. Yeah. Absolutely, He knows we cannot be godly enough to be in His presence. Mm -hmm. He sent His Son to die for our sins, yeah. so that we can take on His punishment and His and His resurrection. He was the only one powerful enough to defeat death itself. Yeah. This is not about what Sean did or what Jeremiah did to earn his salvation. Yeah. It's our surrendering our lives to pick up the cross that Jesus carried. So, but because of that, you can't say you did that and then continue to be smacking butts on, on live <laughs> yeah. and, and doing all these things because then it means that maybe you didn't do that. Yeah. Maybe you weren't really saved. Maybe you really didn't surrender. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So well, I think people got it backwards. They, they they think it's working, trying to do better. Yeah. That's not it. Or maybe he 
he believes Jesus is Savior, not Lord. Mm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like, yeah. like when, 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 um, when, when somebody saves your life, mm -hmm. you're like, "Thank you for saving my life." I'm back, back to business. It's like, yeah. appreciate you it. You know what I mean? Yeah. But when somebody's Lord over your life, you're obedient <laughs> to what that person's saying. You're, you. If that person's saying like, "Hey, I, I want you to do X, Y, Z." You're doing do X, Y, Z. Yeah. And sometimes that's what I realize about a lot of people who got fame and celebrity and they claim a Christianity is at times they're, they they have a savior, but they don't have but Jesus Lord. as Lord. Yeah. And I think that's, that's sometimes that's real. that needs to happen and people have to learn that. And I think the, the dangerous thing about him is, and I, I applaud him because um, I applaud him because he is saying, because I remember seeing him something where, where somebody was trying to make him bow down to an idol, like a, a little mm -hmm. idol, and he was like, nah, I only worship Jesus. And I was like, okay. So, I, I mean, he he has those moments, um, but I pray that he gets discipled, that somebody come along and say, hey, man, basically what you just did, and say, is Jesus Lord over your life? Because if he's Lord over your life, then that the problem means is, the you problem can't keep is, doing these type of activities that you're doing. problem is, if he's not Lord, then he's not Savior. Mm. Jesus, Sean. You see what I'm real, saying? That's a real fact. Yeah. If you don't surrender your life down, then it, you can't hold on to it and think he's. Yeah. Uh, you got to give it up. And that's even right. if he does, like he said, the Ten Commandments. Even if he does feel like the Ten Commandments are the way you get there, are you following them up? <laughs> 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 are you, yeah, are you it's following? weird that he would even bring yeah. it in. Then he hit us with the famous line, man. Nobody's perfect, bro. <laughs> you know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. Like that's the excuse. Like I know the Ten Commandments. I know yeah. what the Bible says about right and wrong. He laid it out, but yeah. nobody's perfect, bro. So I can smack this girl in the butt and do all the rest of this stuff. But because even even that, I think we we have to explain that, like. Yes, you're not perfect, but at the same time, you don't continue in sin. Like, yeah, it's, it's about. like Jesus should be so mm -hmm. amazing to you and and should be amazing. And we're not, nobody in this room is like high and mighty. We, we're saying we would rather yeah. die to our flesh and please the spirit <laughs> than do both ways. I yeah. think it's too, I like the way Sean laid it out was perfect because I think, what you guys want to also just give out is like the gospel, like the truth, like, you know what I'm saying? Like many people are being misled to believe in false things and thinking yeah. they have a true relationship with Christ and not to badger anybody to beat them up. But like you said, if he's not Lord, he's not your savior either. Like it's a transformative process that takes your whole yeah. life. Like you're going to be doing this for the rest of your life. Yeah. So the thing you can just dive in and dive out. I'm going to follow God that I would today. I'm not. That's not really showing fruit of a true it's, relationship. It's, if, if you find yourself in that mentality where you feel like you can kind of go in and out. There's so many warnings in the Bible that says, make sure you're actually saved because yeah. a saved person doesn't think that way. Mm -hmm. yeah. A saved person is so grateful. Like maybe you don't realize how sinful you are. Yeah. I think a lot of people are like, oh, thanks for saving me. Appreciate it. Yeah. It's like, no, you should be like, oh my God, I can't believe he yeah. saved me. Yeah. I right. can't, oh my gosh. Because because it. A lot, I think a lot of people don't realize how evil and depraved and how much we don't deserve it. Yeah, I think nice. a lot of people inherently feel like I'm a human. I deserve to be saved. Mm. God should save me. I'm his kid, right? Yeah. It's like, no, no, no. You deserve to be destroyed. Yeah. And I don't think people really absorb that before they say, thank you, Jesus, or I accept you as my savior. Mm -hmm. They don't really understand how big of a deal it is yeah. for him to not only just, he didn't just like flippantly like, oh, I forgive you. Yeah, he had to take the punishment you were supposed to get. Yeah. The only difference is, if you die, you dead. Yeah, he was right. able to die and come back. You can't do that. Yeah. Right. So <laughs> he did it for you. He took the wrath of God for you. Yeah. I don't think. I don't think we really. I think we just kind of like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's like, yeah. oh my gosh, it's just that casual relationship with God. Many people have, like I said, people think, okay, I believe in Jesus. I know who God is. I know what the Bible says. Whoop de whoop. Okay, I will pray for two minutes to. Cause I gotta pray. It's like we almost act like we're doing God a favor by doing certain things, and then we go back to our normal lives and yeah. live however we want to live. And we have a whole culture of people that's doing that. Because yeah. how many people have truly been disciples? Have really been yeah, taught right. what the gospel that's really right, is right. or what the word really says? Like many people just hear about church house religion, or they see the pastor they see on TV that nobody respect because they got because <laughs> they got miracle spring water, or they yeah. screaming God and all that kind of yeah. stuff. And that's what they see as church or the ones who got the jets while the community struggling. So they don't yeah. take it serious. But they don't I want to learn. I'll say this, though. Um, if he ever sees this live or somebody shows him this, just know, bro, we're not hating on you. We um, we just want you to live this thing out. So if God forbid when you do die and you stand before him, he can say, 
well done. Not like I don't know you because I don't know you is the worst thing to hear. You know what I mean? So we just trying to make sure that you understand what Christianity is and what it's not. But think think about how look look how interesting the story is. I don't know if everybody getting it. God was questioned. Right, the whole story was Lucifer questioned the authority of God. Yeah. I want to be God. Why yeah. am I not God? Right? How can God be just? Meaning, the wages of sin is death. Right? So he, you have to be punished for your sin, and gracious. Yeah. How can you be just and gracious? That's those are almost like opposing things, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. If I give you grace, and that means I let you off on your sin. Yeah. That's mm-hmm. not that's not godly. Yeah. If I if I punish you, then I'm not gracious. That's not godly. Mm. He he was able to accomplish both of those things at the cross. Yeah. He didn't hold back any of his wrath towards sin. He yeah. let the whole clip out, right? Yeah. He was completely just, yeah. right? And he was completely gracious. How, who else could do that? Yeah. Nobody can. Nobody. Yeah. And it's it's just amazing like this when you really think about what he did, it, it's it's unbelievable. Yeah. And to live a life if you really accepted him to live a life that just ignores that and treats that like trash. Yeah. Man, and Jeez. that's why you shouldn't call yourself or relate yourself to Christ in the stories. Yeah. <laughs> you, know you, you don't even get it. You ain't doing that. You don't yeah. even get it, man. All right, that's enough of that. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it's making me mad almost. <laughs> you it's real though. It's just, Jeremiah, <laughs> justice and grace. <laughs> you gotta choose. God did this for you. I'm like, I got things. Huh? It just, it just, it just, it just, it just reminded me how, like, maybe I'm forgetting how serious it is. Like, that's it's serious. serious. That is. It's serious, bro. That shit, Jesus, that, and, and, man. And, and, and honestly, Golly. that should make you check yourself every morning when you spend time with God. Like, God, thank you. <laughs> For dying on a cross for me, because you sure didn't have to. You could have. You could have been like, he could have been obedient, disobedient, and been like, I don't want to die for these people. Yeah, you know what I mean. But mm-hmm. he, he was like, God is your will, not mine. Mm-hmm. And every day, you know, you know, every day you, you think, get on think about how thing. you felt in the garden. Like these people suck, man. Yeah. <laughs> I gotta die for these yeah. people. Right. They are terrible. 